everyone, I go by the name Ritu Metimuilwa from Orbit TVET College. I'll be presenting Mathematical Literacy and CV Level 2 with the topic Finance. After this lesson, you'll be able to differentiate between VET inclusive prices and VET exclusive prices. You'll be able to calculate the amount of VET included in a price that is 15% in our country currently. You'll be able also to determine the VET exclusive price by dividing the VET inclusive price by 1.15. And also, you'll be more familiar with the term interest and percentage. Now, let's move forward. I'll start by introducing VET. Now, what do you think when we talk about VET? VET normally you see when you go to a shop and buy something, you get a slip. At the bottom of the slip, you normally find words like, now this VET refers to the amount of tax that is applied to a product whenever value is added. Right? For example, currently our VET in our country is 15%. So meaning whenever you buy an item, an item, you pay the selling price, which is 100%, and the VAT, which is 15%. It all sums up to 115%. This is what I mean. You have the selling price, and you have the VAT. The selling price equals to 100%, and the VAT is 15%. So meaning all in all, the total price you'll be paying for a product that you'll be purchasing in a store will all sum up to 115%. This is how we illustrate it in a more mathematical way. So we're gonna do some examples to illustrate how to get VET and how to get VET inclusive price and how to get VET exclusive price. Now, mostly students tend to misinterpret questions like calculate VET and calculate VET inclusive. When we're looking for VET, we are looking for a percentage of an amount. When you're looking for VET inclusive, we are looking for uh, uh, the amount with VET included. This is what I mean. For example, say, Example one, say we are told to find the VET of 30 rand. Find the VET of 30 rand. We are basically looking here for 15% of 30 rands. This is how you attempt it. You say 30 times 15 over 100 and this is where it ends, then you'll get it to be 4 and 50 cents. This is the amount of VET. Now, when they say find the VET inclusive price, we are looking for the 15% plus the 30 rand. That's the difference mainly between looking for VET and looking for VET inclusive price. Now, we're going to do examples to see how to get VET inclusive price. Find the VET inclusive price of 55 rands. Now we can do this in a short way and a long way and I'm going to take you in both ways to do it so that we understand the logics behind the whole manipulation. So we're looking for the VET inclusive price. I'll name it to be the VIP for 55 rand. So we are looking for 55 rand plus 15% of 55 rands. This is the long method. So basically what this means is now, we can factor out 55 rand and we are left with one plus 0.15 and if you can see, as we go further, this, is, this will end up being 55 times 1,15, which will in turn give us the answer to be 63.25 cents. Now, a short method, you will not have to go through all these steps. 
However, you can just say 55 times 1,15. Because remember in the beginning we said you pay 100% for the selling price and 15% for the VAT. And it all sums up to 115%. Hence, 1,15. Because it's 115%. With VAT exclusive price, we do the same thing. However, in this case, it's different because we divide instead of multiply now let us illustrate it as well by doing this example find the vet exclusive price i will give it the name vep of 68 rent 40 cents so now we can use the long method as well to see where we get the 1.15 from. Now with the VAT exclusive price, we already have the VAT inclusive price, our, VEP, the, our VIP to be 68 rand 40 cents. Now we are looking for the original price, which is the price that does not include the VAT. We can name it to be X because it is our unknown. So we are looking for X plus 15% of x now when we factor out when we factor out x we'll be left with x open bracket 1 plus 0 comma 1 5 so you realize that when we factor out x this is equivalent to x times 1 comma 1 5 similar to the previous example and like I said, we already have the VAT inclusive price. So now that we are looking for the VAT, inclusive, uh, VAT exclusive price, now we divide instead of multiply. So our X will be equivalent to 68,4840 divided by 1,15. So our VAT inclusive price will be equivalent to 59 rand 48 cents and that is how we calculate the vet inclusive price and the vet exclusive price now you can see that this is a shorter method of using 1,15 instead of going the longer way you get the same answer throughout even if you don't use the long method now let us move on to interest now, whenever you borrow money, you pay it back with interest. And whenever you invest money, you gain interest. So interest is calculated as a percentage of the amount of money borrowed or invested. Now, we have two ways in which we generate interest, which is the simple interest and the compound interest, given by the following formulas. Simple interest is given by is given by A is equivalent to P open bracket 1 plus I times N close bracket. A is equal to the total amount and P is the principal amount. And I is represented by R over 100, where R is equals to the interest rate. And N is our period or time. Now, compound interest, however, is given by the formula is given by the formula A is equivalent to P open bracket 1 plus I close bracket to the power N. Now, as we go through some examples, you realize the difference between the two. With simple interest, each year you use the original amount to generate interest. With compound, each year you gain interest on interest you would ask yourself what does interest on interest mean however we will do examples to explain this further so let us look at a few examples on how to compare the two we have a simple interest scenario 
Linda invests 5,000 on her savings account that pays 6.5% per year, simple interest, for three years. Calculate the interest after three years and the total amount after three years. So now we highlight the important information that we have. Now we have 5,000, which is our principal amount and we have 6.5% which is our interest rate and finally we have our period which is three years now I'm gonna break it down into years so that we understand what happens to your interest each year so I'm gonna start with year one I'm gonna start with year one so how do we calculate interest we said that interest is calculated as a percentage of an amount invested or borrowed so we're gonna use the formula interest which is equivalent to p times i times n we know that p is our principal amount i is our interest rate and n is the number of years so since well we are doing it for single years so our n will remain one so basically our equation will be p times i so for first year we say i is equal to 5000 rand times 6.5 over 100 which will give us 325 this is for the first year remember we said we use the original amount to gain interest for each year so for the second year which means we will use again the original amount which is 5000 to say i is equivalent to 5000 times 6,5 over 100 which gives us 325 again so we move on to the third year which is the same thing again we use the same original amount to generate the interest we say again i is equivalent to 5000 rand times 6,5 over 100 which is 325 so this is the interest for each year so meaning the total interest after three years we will add all these interests to get the final total interest which will give us because the amount is the same three times 325 which is 975 rands interest after three years so now to calculate the final amount at the end of three years like we said interest is calculated as a percentage of the amount borrowed meaning that we're gonna in, we're gonna add the interest to the original amount that was invested so the total amount at the end of three years will be 5000 rand plus the interest that was gained which is 975 so all in all the money that will be in her account after three years will be 5,975 rands. So this is the longer way of doing it, just to understand what happens to the money every year. So now the shorter method would be to use the formula that was given in the beginning, which is A is equivalent to P, open bracket one plus I times N, close bracket. So when we substitute whatever values we have, we will get straight to this answer to show that it is the same procedure, only simplified. So let us substitute to say P is 5,000, open bracket, 1 plus 6,5 over 100 times 3. Then when you punch your calculator, you will get 5,975 rands. So that's how we attempt simple interest questions. So now let us move to compound interest to compare it to simple interest and see what we meant when we said you gain interest on interest unlike with simple interest where you use the original amount each year. So likewise with compound interest, I'm going to break it down in two years so that we can see what happens to the interest in each year. So we start with the first year. We use the interest formula again to say I is equivalent to P times I. 
So our interest for the first year will be 5,000 times 6,5 over 100, which is equivalent to 325. Remember, we said now we gain interest on interest. What does this mean? The interest that you got in the first year will be carried forth to the second year, meaning we will not have 5,000 anymore. It will be 5,000 plus 325. So let us do it. Second year. So our interest will be calculated as 5,325 times 6,5 over 100, which will give us 346 rands, 125. So we do not round off because you want to be accurate with the final answer. So we write it as it is and we carry it on as it is as well. So we do not round off. So we move to the third year. We move to the third year. Likewise, it is no longer 5,325, but it's 5,325 plus the new interest for the second year. So our third year interest will be calculated as 5,671,125 times 6,5 over 100, which will give us, let me write it at the bottom for space, 368 comma six two three one two five remember i said we do not round off for accuracy so the total interest will be the sum of the three interests right so i will be now 325 plus three four six comma one two five plus three six eight comma six two three one two five now we can round off at the final answer right so our answer will be a thousand and thirty nine comma seven five which is our total interest at the end of three years so now to calculate the total amount again we add the original amount plus the interest so to calculate the total amount like we said we add the original amount plus the interest gained after three years so we will have a is equivalent to five thousand rand plus one thousand three and thirty nine rand seventy five cents which will give us six thousand and thirty nine rands 75 cents after three years so now this is the long method again so using a short method the simplified formula you can still get this very same amount how do we do it let us use the formula one plus i to the power n so our principal amount is five thousand 6,5 over 100 to the power 3 because our period is 3 years. So when you punch it to your calculator, you will find 6,039.75 cents. Now that sums up how to calculate simple and compound interest and the difference between the two. So let us reflect on our lesson by going through some examples on how to calculate VET. Um, now, the, the question says, calculate the VET exclusive price if the VET inclusive price is 34 rands. Remember what we said, we can use a short method. So we are looking for the VET exclusive price. So the short method, we divide by 1,15, which is going to give us 34 divided by 1,15. 1, 5, which will give us 29 rands 57 cents. So that is how we calculate the VET exclusive price. Remember the VET inclusive price you multiply, right? 
Now, let us move on to the interest example. Now, we have a question that says, Jabu's grandfather is willing to lend him 25,000 at 3% compound interest per year for five years to buy a second-hand car. Now, we look for the key data that we have. So, we have 25,000 rand, which is the principal amount, and we have the 3% which is the interest rate and our period to be 5 years. So now the question is, how much interest must Jabu pay after 5 years? So we can use the short method, but however we are looking for interest. So this is how we can do it. We can start by looking for the total amount using the short formula which is given by A is equivalent to P open bracket 1 plus I close bracket to the power N. So we substitute our information to say P is 25,000 open bracket 1 plus 3 over 100 close bracket to the power 5, which is our period. So when we punch our calculator, we get the total answer to be 28,981.85 cents. Now this is not the interest. This is the total amount. However, the question said, how much interest must Jabu pay after five years? So to get the interest, so we're going to say the principal, the, the, the final amount minus the principal amount to get the interest. So our interest will be calculated as A minus P, which is 28981,85 minus 25000, which will give us total of 3,981.85 cents. So this is the total interest that he will pay after five years. Now the second question says, how much must Jabu pay back in total? So we are looking for the total amount. So we have already answered that. So our answer would be, Jabu will pay a total of 28,000 981.85 cents and that wraps up our lesson for today. I hope you've learned a lot and had so much fun. Stay home and be safe. Thank you.